This is your St. Patrick's Day Parade coverage on Fox 4. Fifty years ago, it was a Friday afternoon and Dan Hogarty and a few of his buddies decided to hold a short one and a half block <laughs> parade. They called it the world's shortest and worst. Well, fast forward and here we are in Midtown on a 1.1 mile track with thousands gathered for the 50th anniversary of the St. Patrick's Day Parade, the modern era, John Holt, Kathy Quinn, Aaron Gabert, welcome back. Oh. Good to see you again. We haven't been here for 50 years. No. Correct. But we look pretty good for the years we have. <laughs> it's right? been a while. Right? Many <laughs> years. <laughs> I've attempted many of the parades, though, I will tell you, and this is the best parade in the world with so many families being involved and the generations and generations we're seeing coming back to it. And especially, what a great day, a Sunday, and the sun is out, yep. the bagpipes are playing, and it's going to be a good one. And this is their 62nd year, the Kansas City yep. St. Andrew Pipes and Drums. They just had a sold-out concert at the Kansas City Irish Fest recently. You had all the uh, wonderful bagpipers. They had, a, oh, it was just a beautiful time at the KC Irish Center. I was able to emcee it and, and learn all about bagpipes and the music and the, the young people that are taking over from the older bagpipers. It was just fabulous, guys. And they lead off our parade today. Just get you in the spirit, really does. It really does. I always look forward to them every year. They've been a staple with the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Um, so much so, in fact, that they are, uh, you know, some of our lifetime achievement winners. So um, <laughs> while the while the majority of the entries you're going to see today get judged uh, by our panel of judges, um, you know, they just won too many times. So they don't have to worry. There's no another stress. lifetime achievement. We no, kept them. No sweat today. They can just get in front. They've got 90 seconds in front of the panel of judges. Uh, but today it's going to be, hey, we're just yep. showing off what we've done for many, many years. And yep. they do it so very well. And so speaking of, of people doing things well, we've got Vanessa Pruitt, our senior co-chair um, of the parade this year. So um, she, <laughs> along with her junior co-chair and our board of directors and incredible committee, have been working real hard. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to tell you something year. about Vanessa. She's got the parade wave down. Oh, yes, she does. She <laughs> yes. knows what she's doing. We <laughs> had her in uh, at O'Neill's the other day, myself and Aaron and Vanessa taste testing some wonderful food. So she knows what she's doing. And uh, great job, Vanessa. Yep. And by the way, the committee is made up of how many? I mean, dozens. Any, dozens. Yeah, yeah, anywhere dozens. from probably 75 to 100 people right. um, that put this on. All I tried volunteers. counting. I tried counting the picture and I couldn't tell. There, <laughs> but it takes all those people to, to make this run the way it does. Yep. Co-chair and we've got Jean Dalrymple is uh, yep. up now. Yep, she is the junior co-chair. So she'll be senior co-chair yep. next year. And she's been uh, along Vanessa's side all year and our board of directors and really um, – Helping and learning what the, all the crazy of being senior coach here will be next you year. Know, and, and this is nothing that they just, okay, the day before they work on this. This is something they are working on day in and day out throughout the year. And it takes so much time. And as you mentioned with all those parade folks, a uh, lot of time. So, so we'll, we'll, they'll celebrate tonight. <laughs> they'll recover tomorrow, and then, and then they'll start exactly, planning. Okay, I exactly, got it down. That's and exactly. And now the Grand Marshals this year, very special, tied to the <laughs> 50th anniversary. Yeah, this is one of my favorite things we've ever done. So the Grand Marshals this year, you'll notice there's an S on the end of that. Marshals. It is the descendants of our founders, the founders <laughs> of this parade. So it's the Murphy family, the O'Neill family, the Lynch family and the Hogarty family. Yep. And so you'll see yeah, there, yeah. they've got a banner there that has the pictures of the very first parade and there's some of the um, sons <laughs> and grandsons are. of those founders dressed <laughs> just like their, their dad and grandpa were. Uh, in fact, I know we've got Jim Lynch's son who is literally wearing the exact coat his wow. dad wore that day. And I love it. All these guys are just representing. And too many O'Neills, though. Too many O'Neills. <laughs> <laughs> There's never too many O'Neills. Are you kidding me? Hey, Ken. And that's just a sample of them right there. You know what's fun is who would have thought? And there's Miss Kelly. Hi, Kelly Dolly. <laughs> who would have thought 50 years later it would still be going and going even stronger than it was that first day? Uh-oh, Mike O'Neill's on the bike. Watch out. Look Watch out. out. <laughs> <laughs> but it really is amazing, and I can only imagine how proud these families are that yeah. to think that their fathers and grandfathers um, started this entire thing just because they wanted to do something good for the city and, and bring a little business to downtown. Oh, I was just going to say. Specifically to Hogarty's Pub. That, 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 that was the original idea. They go, hey, wait a minute. We're here having lunch. Let's, let's walk around the block. Oh, and there's a great two great-grandsons of one oh. of the original founders, uh, the little O'Neill, the littlest oh. O'Neills there. <laughs> Carrying on the family tradition 50 years later. How fun for them. I think one of them, yes, they're just gorgeous. 
And of course, more coming up. The Murphy family. The Murphy family. Hello, Murphy. Hello. And talk talk <laughs> about a legacy there with Mike Murphy. <laughs> he was a uh, one of a kind in our city, he and really was. Uh, you know, this was a big his his big idea here. So. so I remember growing up in Waldo area. Mike and Pat Murphy would come into our restaurant Las Palmas, and that's how I knew about Mike Murphy and growing up and being. You know, he's a legend. He is a legend. Hello. He was a great radio talker, too, back in the day. Had a, oh had a great voice, and I, I remember listening to him when I was in school at a place <laughs> just a little bit west of here, uh, University of Kansas. <clears throat> and I, I loved it. It was just fantastic radio back in the day. What a, what a legend, like you said, just a, a great guy. So speaking of legends, mm -hmm. we've got one with us on our stage here. Oh, my goodness. A very special. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. Legend means old. You're not <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, right. that's a good point. Uh, you, so you mean John Holt. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Now. Hey, now. yeah. That was good. You're quick. That was quick. <laughs> Mayor Quint Lucas is with us. Mayor, good to have you all. You walked the parade route. We saw you. Uh, it, it is a great time every year. A lot of fun. Good to see so many families out yeah. and this true yeah. Kansas City tradition. No, yep. Nothing's going to keep Kansas City apart. That's they come right. together, and That's especially right. on this Sunday with the sun shining and everything. How did it feel coming down the route? Uh, you know what? It really felt great to see everybody together. I started at Brown's Irish Market. There is always just this great family vibe there. Right. And then as you're going down the route, so many people from so many different backgrounds love to be part of all of yeah. this. So a great day during a great weekend for Kansas City. Yeah, absolutely. It's been There's been so many great things going on, and we're... You know, we love having you in the parade every year and always love having your support and just uh it's great to have you. Well, you can tell I'm not running for office right now <laughs> because usually I go down and back and down and back right. like four times. <laughs> They're used to seeing me too much on this. So it's good to finally sit down and kind of get to enjoy it. Yeah, for a get minute. to enjoy it. Kind of <laughs> hang out down here and uh, right. watch the parade and and see what it's all about. What is kind of cool about it, too, Mayor, is this is where the Irish settled, you know, down yep. there by Browns, obviously one of the oldest Irish businesses, Redemptorist. And, you know, the rock where Redemptorist was built, that rock came from the quarry at Channel 4. I mean, it's all, yes. Oh, I did not yes. know that. Yep. So and I'm built mainly you. by Irish immigrants. So there's a quarry underneath our building? There is. <laughs> so if we sink into the, <laughs> we'll know why. But isn't that funny how everything ties together and the community just blends? It, so. is, the, it is the joy of Midtown Kansas City, right where, yeah. from where Channel 4 is to Browns to here in the Westport area. There is so much history in it this is. part of Kansas City, and it's great to have this parade each year to really get a chance to celebrate this. Although yes. it started downtown, it almost feels like it's home right here in Midtown and Westport. That it is really the feeling. is. That we, is the they've been such wonderful hosts to us and um, just great supporters in Westport, um, which is also the official after party of the parade. <laughs> so, uh, And, and I know. think the pre-party, the after party, the <laughs> during party, <laughs> folks are always having a good time. And I think there's still some Iowa State fans from last you night who still walk around. <laughs> Very good point. Are they up yet? Very I don't know. <laughs> after congratulations to our Cyclone friends on their Big 12 championship win. Repping the original Big 12 over the newbies. There's the Mike Murphy Honorary Irishman yes. of the Year this aboard Connor, the fire truck. Connor uh, McNeese. McNeese. Yes. This is honors of Kansas City and most definitely for adopting Kansas City in this case, obviously. Yep. They're now, part of Children we, of Peace in Ireland. We have some too. very special guests who are here uh, from Ireland. We right? do. Oh. We do. We have the Minister of State, Patrick O'Donovan. And uh, as well as some other guests, the um, Council General in Austin, uh, Robert Hull, and the va Vice Council, um, Neve Clark, and Private Secretary, Nolene Fagan, and uh, Michael O'Connor. So we are so grateful. There's 11 um, wow. There's 11 ministers, which are Irish government officials, that are coming. That have come to the United States for St. Patrick's Day, and they chose Kansas City because they know what an amazing parade and Irish community we and, have here. And Mayor, you may notice they had those little shamrocks, and yes. Aaron has one on as well. Oh, That's yeah. a tradition in Ireland. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, it, it is very nice. They yeah. actually gave me the Irish flower. They um, did and, good, and which was wonderful. Incredibly kind folks, and we're interested in working on a sister city relationship oh, with good. the city in Ireland. That's what uh, Kevin O'Neill and I were talking about today. That'd be oh, fun. Now, you might note we've got the Jeeps coming by, but they're all out walking like you, Mr. <laughs> yeah. Mayor. They, they, they wanted to stretch those legs and meet the people. So good Absolutely. to have all of them here. As you mentioned, Aaron, 11 ministers who fan out to, to attend these kinds of parades, and we're, we're right up there yep. for visiting us. Yep. I will, I will tell you, uh, 
Robert Hull, the, the um, consulate in Austin, said that this is, uh, you know, one of his favorite places to come. He couldn't wait to be here. And what's interesting, too, with the Irish, they, they come and see these big parades and they go, oh, my gosh, I don't believe this, especially Kansas right, City, right, which is right. one of the biggest and best in the country. Hello. You know that, John, right? John O'Holt for the day. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Here's the Corvette Car Club ah. all spiffed up. Look at that. Nice ride. Beautiful. They are gorgeous. Thanks for being here, gang. We appreciate you. <laughs> what we want to do, too, is thank of all our wonderful, wonderful law enforcement folks yeah. who are out here keeping us safe. KCPD, they've right, been out some right. very You know, early. to talk about that, there is wonderful regional collaboration, too. In addition, of course, to KCPD, uh, we have Jackson County Sheriff's, KCKPD, a lot of Missouri and Kansas agencies helping to make sure this can be a great day yeah. in the town. So we, we forgive the blue for not wearing green. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> right. They are represented. All right, we're going to take a quick break as we continue along the parade route. It is the 50th anniversary. No break. No break. No break. No, okay. we don't want to break. No, yeah. okay. We're, we're, we're partying, having too much John. fun. <laughs> we, are, we are partying it up. <laughs> All right, let's keep it going. Let's Almost keep it going. I, I cannot believe this sunshine, though. It just—it's so good. It's, it's just a little bit, a little bit breezy and everything, yep. but it's okay. You know, once the sun is out, we don't mind. No, it, it's it's fabulous, and it really is. And my family was out here today too. It's a great day to come walk around with yeah. your kids. You can go support one of the local shops. Yes. You can be on the route. There are any number of things to do, and it really is a big neighborhood festival. There are smaller neighborhood ones, but this one brings yes. a lot this together. This is the, the official city parade. There it is. <laughs> it brings everybody together. It really does. That's what it's all about, yep. too. Bringing the family. Oh, oh. bring the little old little you know, Irish dog. Babies. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Her babies. That's terrific. <laughs> so what did your son think of this mayor? Well, you know what? He was here for the horses at the very beginning. So oh. the, uh, the Jackson County Sheriff's Office had their mounted patrol out, so he loves the horses and the fire trucks oh, like you'd expect from a good toddler. Oh, very good. That's great. He was probably in awe of it all. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You know, uh, with kids, really, you don't have to do that much, right? right. You, you put them out, see a few cool things, and it's great. That's great. So we are talking now about the Ancient Order of Hibernians, Padraig Pierce Division in Missouri. There are so many different divisions in the United States, and, and these folks do such great work for the community. And so they are there with their flags and marching through as they uh, honor an Irishman of the Year each year who extraordinarily gives to the community as well yep and we'll be seeing him here uh at some point <laughs> okay. with the Hiber with the hibernians <laughs> pete lobdell <laughs> but but we've there. got a. Uh, oh there he is right now there yeah. we go there's our irishman of the year hibernian irishman of the year pete lobdell and they were the second place organization in last year's parade so they have a history of being a part of this parade and doing quite well they sure do congratulations sure do. pete <laughs> absolutely one thing, an I do, honor. one thing I do want to come in, though. John, are you at every St. Patrick's themed parade each year? <laughs> you know I, what? I see it. It, it does make it. A, funny how that, funny how that works, Isn't right? Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> Martin City last weekend. I did not make the snake parade uh, this year, but uh, uh, I happened. was resting up for this one, right? Absolutely. Congratulations. There they are. We've always got a large group <laughs> of AOH members coming to represent with you their bet. family and friends. Now, they rented out a whole golf course. Yeah, course this is their thing. Here. Every year, this they ride the fabulous. golf cart. Wow. If you don't have to walk, why not take a golf cart, right? <laughs> right. And, I mean, who decorates a golf cart better than the AOA? You know, I have never seen it done better. <laughs> Are you just playing through? Is that what you're doing? I see. Yeah, just don't mind us. What a group. A I'd be much better at this decoration than actual golfing. Right. Yeah. right. That's how I would be. You and me both. <laughs> Trust me. So you see, when the Irish would come to the United States, this is the organization that they would get involved in. The men would, and then they had the women's club. My father is in the AOH as well. And what it does, it, it, it produces the, the culture within the community. It preserves the culture, but it gets them assimilated with the, the community as well. And I have to say this, um, Padraig Pierce Division, they're a big reason why this parade is legitimate these days. Uh -huh. uh, they came in, I think, year three of the of the parade back in, in the 70s and brought a little more organization to it. Uh, Fred Worsh jumped in and, uh, and got involved, and, and a lot of the AOH got uh -oh. involved and really helped make this parade a bit more legitimate. I think I remember been. year three, John. I hate to tell you. I was in year three's parade. <laughs> year three. Back then, it was through Westport. Then you, uh, and we were on the front of it. you are a legend. <laughs> it's been everywhere. It's been through Westport. I, I was two. I was two. Oh, okay. But we were on the front of a truck from Superior Moving. They, uh, Dixie Lynch let us borrow his truck, and we were all dancing on the truck. It was so 
much fun for the ladies there in his tuxedo. Ancient order of it. Hibernians ride Molly the Trolley from the Excelsior Springs Chamber. Wow. We love the ladies' ancient order of Hibernians. We've got to have some ladies in there to keep Absolutely. all those men Absolutely. in check. That's for sure. This is like the original party bus. Right here. <laughs> I mean, they're having a blast. Hello, ladies. So this is obviously an organization since 1935, Catholic Women of Irish Descent. They raise funds for lots of charities, local and national. That's what's so cool about it. They do great work. And that they have a the great truth. trolley. <laughs> yeah. And we've got now our Kansas division of the Ancient Order of Hibernians, the Father Bernard Donnelly division. And uh, there are another. It's great that we've got two really strong, great divisions of the AOH in Kansas City. Um, yep. And this group, the Kansas um, Father Bernard Donnelly Division, they do a lot of fundraising for things like um, scholarships for Catholic high school kids, um, health care for the underserved, yes. for the hungry, for first responders. And their big fun uh, uh, fundraising activity or event. Road bully. Have you, have you been to an Irish I road bully? Oh, you've got to. It is, it's hilarious. It's, it's quite an experience. Yes. But, uh, <laughs> the next and Irish road bullying is April 29th. And they put do it, it on your calendar, Mayor. And uh -huh. they look good in We're their there. kilts. Oh, they, they look, look good, men. They look great. Yes, they do. You can just feel the pride as they walk by. Tell you really. What. They look a lot better in a kilt than I would. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you that we right gotta now. we got to try that, John. Oh, my. <laughs> that might be my final parade. <laughs> <laughs> Ratings plummet. <laughs> Holtz and a kilt. All right. <laughs> Next up, the O'Sullivan clan, I believe. So they have been in almost every parade. They usually hear they, they're, they're going to be coming up. They're known for saying, give me an O, give me an S, give me a U, yes. give me an L. And I think several O'Sullivans just contacted me via text to tell uh, me it's a huge, long history. Matt but I'll Bowers. tell you what, just look at them. You see all this. There they are. Yeah. But we're still with the Hibernians. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. We just saw their Hibernian of the year, Matt Bauer. And get wow. all the stuff he's about to go by. Every generation. Yeah, there we are. I will tell you that Kevin gets that fire truck in almost every single <laughs> Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Here come the O'Sullivan. And Here there's they the O'Sullivan. Are. They were the grand prize winners last year. And I have to brag because they are uh, my relatives. We're distantly uh -huh. related, but uh, but we are related. <laughs> so they're cheers for 50 this year. Yay. There they go. <laughs> I have to tell you, my cousin is Marina Garcia O'Sullivan. Wait, so we're, maybe we're, we're related. related. <laughs> wow. Well. We just got really there excited she is. for all of you. Uh, there uh. She, that's my cousin right there. <laughs> I She's love a it. Former Chiefs cheerleader. I, I can tell. She's and I taught her everything. She's still she got knows. the moves. Still got the moves. You know, I think on this day we're all related. Uh, yeah, I exactly, think so. Exactly. Yeah. That's my cousin. <laughs> and at least we're related by marriage in some way. That's Anybody right. who claims any Irish heritage. That is right. And they are given their best 50 cheers for 50 years. <laughs> Give me an O. <laughs> and I love it. I don't know if you can see on their float there, but there's a picture of them uh, back in the day. I can't tell what year that was, but uh, they've been, like we said, participating, uh, you know, really year. for every mm -hmm. year. Um, they, they, a couple of them uh, were back. They were part of the parade and that crazy crew of about 15 and, and people in year one. How about that? Give me an O. Give me an say. O. Yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, we know these folks. Aww. I was going to say, these people look All familiar. Right. Yeah. We've got, oh, and a little pup along Aww. the ride there with Lauren. Aww. Lauren and Kevin. That's my Lauren. Fox 4 News at 10. Outstanding. And who's your new co-anchor there? <laughs> Lauren, who is that? That's your replacement, John. <laughs> well. <laughs> that is your replacement. Much younger <laughs> and much better looking. Uh, and it behaves well. And doesn't need makeup. Yeah, so that's, that's right. good. Yeah. All right. There's the I first. mean, at least yeah, you're go. potty trained. Like yeah. that, well, that's one thing for you. Well, <laughs> hey, guys. As long as we have a long commercial break, I'm good. Yeah. And, and here's the man we can thank for the sunshine. Oh, yes. Joe Laurie. Joe Laurie. Joe. Way to go, Joe. Well done. I don't know. L Loria sounds Italian to me. Let's go, oh, Loria. There we go. That works. Let's do, oh, Loria. By the way, big oh. thanks to Baron BMW right. for the gorgeous cars. And for the gorgeous Rob Collins. Yes, there there's he is. Rob Collins. <laughs> <laughs> we do love Baron BMW. They're a great supporter right. of Fox 4 and this broadcast, so we thank them so much. And for making sure the anchor's right in style. You know, he's been busy this weekend. We he had has. Big 12. We yeah. had the current the yesterday. Current, wonderful game, yeah. A wonderful way to open the stadium down by the riverfront. 
Hello, great Hello. day, Casey, Tony, and Carrie. And you know, speaking of, uh, we've been talking about anniversaries. Fox Four is uh, about to celebrate a big anniversary in October. Seventy-five 70, years. Uh, Seventy-five years. Wow. Pat and Jake. Pat and the Get hey back guys. to work, Pat. <laughs> there he goes. All and right. Dave DeMarco. Now that's Italian. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Irish. but I was with Dave earlier this week in Browns, and he was looking okay. for the perfect <laughs> Irish there garb to wear. <laughs> there we and go. I'll tell you okay. what. I hope you're enjoying the break because we are enjoying it. But uh, we're gonna just go to quick break take right a quick now, Mayor. And yep. uh, all right, Aaron. Oh my goodness. We'll leave you with lots more oh, parade to go. More. We're glad you're joining us here on Fox Four. It's 50 cheers yeah. for 50 years. <laughs> We're back live here on Broadway, Midtown, home of the Irish Settlers and home today to the 50th anniversary of the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Yes. It's John, Kathy, and Aaron. We have really one of the fun things about this parade <laughs> is the dance teams that come through. And here come the Gateway High Steppers. Yeah, their motivation and their motto is motivated youth in action. I love this group. And they were the first place drill team last year. Wow, so they're selling, yeah. Always expect great things from them. We did a pay it forward with the founding wonderful dancer. And the kids just love her because uh, she keeps them, mot all ages, you know, she keeps them going, seven to 18 years of age. Yep. They've got to maintain a C in class. Yep. And right now they're going to come up over here. 90 seconds in front of the judges. We've got seven judges this year. Yep. So what are the judges looking for, Erin? Well, they're looking for adherence to theme, um, how, you know, kind of celebratory and festive they get, um, and just the overall performance when it comes to the drill teams and the dance schools. They look motivated to me. We're going to see them stop in front of the judges here for that 90-second... Okay. Uh, performance. be tough to be a judge, right? Oh, I know. Yeah. I, you know, so I, every year we talk about this, whether it's, you know, judging the, the drill teams, the dancers, or just the regular entries. I couldn't do it. Floats they use, and I, and I suspect this year's going to be even harder, because I know people are pulling out all the stops for the 50 yep. year. 50 cheers for 50 years. I can't believe it's been that long. It's just wonderful. It really is. And so special to me. 
going to be able to be a part of this for so long. And yeah. this is actually Fox 4's, I believe, 15th year broadcasting the we parade. We were one dream. Yep. It's 15 years yep. young. We were, we were trying to. You, you, yeah. You have so much fun doing it that the years yeah. fly by, it's, it's right? It's amazing to me yep. uh, that we've been doing this together. I'm like, I've been doing this for 13 with you all, and wow. I can't remember those for a year. Here's we the J.E. E. Dunn construction crew. They were the second place nice. business winner in 2023. And we always love to see J.E. Dunn. I love seeing my buddy Dave Barber, and he's got his wife Kathy with him this year. You know, So much fun uh, to see them. And then the connection, obviously, with the parade is that uh, they are related to the Aylward. Yep. Jan Aylward, Patty Aylward. They're all connected, John. You just got to. See? Just I'm telling you. I love their uh, their VW uh, bug that they're, uh, or bus that they're driving this year. The Barley bus. 98 years the, for J.E. Dunn. How One of the that? littlest uh, members of the J.E. Dunn crew <laughs> there. <laughs> Hi, guys. La Mega, 11.60 a.m. I love to say it, La Mega. <laughs> there they are. Hello. Oh, good. Si, como no, gracias. How about <laughs> That's that? That's Irish for me. I'll take it. Woo! Thank you, La Mega. And La Mega was our first place media winner in 2023, and they are always a great addition uh, to our parade. We love it when, you know, our, we're Irish. They're Hispanic, and we love. We all love celebrating the, each other. That is the Celtic connection. Exactly. You have to understand. The Irish, Mexicans, the Spanish, it's all that Celtic connection. It makes it uh, really, really meld together. Buenos exactly. dias, exactly. La Mega. Exactly. <laughs> That's awesome. And we got right behind them. You just saw this uh, turkey-looking fella. <laughs> and that is, uh, that is, this is our Better Homes and Gardens yes. group, uh, Better Homes and Gardens Kansas City, and they have been multi-year winners There's my uh, Dan. of our, of our Go for the Green Food Drive. Mm -hmm. Um, they, they, and they are a part of that competition and they raise a lot of money every year. With their playhouse. With their playhouse. Um, you know, when you donate to the Go for the Gr Green Food Drive through Better Homes and Gardens, you get entered to win this very cool playhouse that you may have seen on the back there We're gonna um, see it right I, now. and I will say the go for the green food drive we kicked it off a couple of weeks ago myself and Jan Aylward and so at Harmony Middle School they have won every year every year Over and the I know they're going to yep. do it again yep. so let's keep our fingers crossed for that and it is such a great cause it to is go for the green fill in food pantries it's just wonderful and so thank you to all who are taking part in that tradition which has become a part of this parade yes. that's what this is about family tradition fun yep. uh, and lots of green and I see the IBEW, Local Union 124, they were our first place in tr the trades. trades category last year. All right. They lead the way in renewable and sustainable energy through generations of highly trained workers. A very rich heritage of skilled labor here in the metro area, IBEW 124. And they have actually been serving the Kansas City community for over a century. So, you know, it's pretty wild. We think we're doing well at 50 years. We've <laughs> yeah. got so many organiza organizations we're just babies. and businesses, exactly, <laughs> compared to some of these groups. And they've got the parade waves down, too. They do. IBEW Local 124. <laughs> Having a great time there. <laughs> Music is such a huge deal, too, as well. Oh, you know. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's such a big part. It's well. It's one of the many things that bring, uh, you know, the Irish together yep. with a lot of other people, and like Irish dance. I was gonna say you couldn't have a you couldn't have Irish dance it's without music. And
back live along Broadway <laughs> in Midtown as we celebrate 50 cheers yes. for 50 years as you take a look at Dowd's Irish Dance Academy. I think they did well, guys. I think and they did too. You know what this parade is all about? We've been talking about dancing and Irish dancing and music. It's about family. Oh, yes. And this is the key to this. This is the Mike O'Connor family we're going to be looking at, the first place family winners in last year's parade. They've been in the parade 38 years of the 50 years. Wow. Young and old generations. That's, that's, that's what's four so cool. generations celebrating their Woo. Irish heritage with their group today. Um, and they, this is a big thing for their family. Right. They, every year, they look forward to that day <laughs> when the theme is announced, because we announce the theme every year. Yeah. And as soon as that theme is announced, they all come together and they brainstorm what their float is going to be like this year. And I have been so excited yeah. to see it. You can see there, look how festive and fun it is. St. Patrick they is always along. do. Yeah. Something tells me they may be contenders this year. <laughs> they were first place family winners last year. I think they may do well this year again. And of course, St. Patrick couldn't, couldn't miss this float, you know. <laughs> Driving the snakes out of Ireland right now. Oh, very nice. How about that? And I love their, they love, a lot of families love playing off of the theme and just making it a little different. So you saw yep. that sign there that says, just one more. Uh, and they had beer crossed out and wrote cheer. <laughs> There's the Mike O'Connor family. Always so fun to see them heading down the route. Or as you say in Ireland, the clan. The clan, yes. <laughs> the O'Connor clan. And we've got Mesner Bee Farm. This is a group, they've been in our parade the last handful of years, and Hi they're guys. always so fun to see. They're local bees, beekeepers uh -huh. who make beeswax and honey product, and this is, like wow. I said, their third year in the parade. Looks like they'd have let a few bees out of the hive today, <laughs> didn't they? Fantastic. And oh. I believe we hear our newest parade sponsor making a splash as they come down the route, Republic Services. They are new to the parade. And they've come on as a sponsor this year, so yeah. we are so grateful for their support. They're we riding in not... style too today. Look yeah, at that. they are with one of their uh, lovely trash trucks there. And we Wait. really are, we are so appreciative of Republic yeah. Services. We couldn't do this parade <laughs> without our amazing sponsors, and so we are uh, grateful that they came on board this year. And if, if you notice, they're recycling kids in the back of that <laughs> That's wow. good job. What a ride. I mean, ride. they are a trusted partner for sustainable recycling and waste <laughs> solution. So there you have it. There you go. <laughs> and I the think plumbers. we, I see uh, the uh, plumbers and gas fitters, local union number eight. So this group's mission is to protect the health of the nation. And they've been doing it for a long, long time, since 1890. 1890. <laughs> wow. They've been around almost as long as us. <laughs> hey. Hey, fella, look at that. Nice smile. A lot of characters <laughs> yes. around here. As they continue to celebrate 50 cheers for 50 years. 50 years, I can't believe it. <laughs> I know, it's pretty wild. And we've got our, they, they have so many of them. There's two different, there's two big <laughs> trailers carrying them down the route. There they are. <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day. Can anybody fix a leaky faucet out there? <laughs> That's what I want to know. <laughs> Not today. Not, Not today. today. This is Sunday. Nope. They're having too much fun today. A little bit of wind wouldn't hurt anybody. At least it's not snowing or raining, it's sunny. No, exactly. Beautiful. And day. I bet these Casey Marching Falcons are staying pretty warm because they have been dancing oh, down wow. this entire route so far. This and is a uh, large, large group, Aaron and John. Look at that. These are second place drill team winners last year. So they were probably really encouraged last year and they're gonna do it again this year. We'll see. And I love this group. They uh their members, not only are they learning uh, you know, about dance and the arts, yeah. but they also um, are able to receive tutoring services needed ah. because school is such an important part of this group and making sure that these kids are set up for success and will provide inner city youth with positive alternatives to some of the things they may be exposed to, um, like violence and, and drugs and those sort of activities. Yeah. So. Nonprofit you know, these, organization is what they are, John. The, the, these, these dance troops that you see come through, they give kids an alternative to yes, that. They give exactly. them something to do, help them focus on school, and of course, help them have a little fun along the way as they perform for the judges here.
Oh, my back Very hurts. Good. My back hurts. <laughs> oh, man. How about that? Ooh. <laughs> John, I think I saw you doing that back bend earlier today. Listen, I? I would not be getting up. No, we wouldn't. We'd have to help him up. Yeah, I certainly wouldn't be able to, without a doubt. Kansas City Marching Falcon, nonprofit organization with the After School of the Arts program, which is wonderful. Look how many are in this group, too. Such a large group, so much talent. Uh, way more talented than I am, that's for sure. <laughs> that's why we're up here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I love it. They uh, get our parade, as well as some of the other ones throughout the year. You know, this is a big oh. opportunity for Yay. them. Yay. Well done, Marching Falcon. Very good. I wonder what the judges are thinking. This would be tough. I'm telling you, I couldn't do it. Uh, yeah, I don't know that I'd want to be a judge <laughs> in this parade. They do a great job, for sure. And they're being timed as well to ensure that they stay inside of that 90 seconds um, and really kind of, uh, you know, adhere to the rules, adhere to the theme. And that's tough. You've got to stay within that time limit because, boom, you got to show them what you got within that short time period. Yep, yep. and they got to show that they're moving again. Uh, to not, you know, so the trade's not backed up too much. Right. <laughs> we should mention our not judges, Carlos Hallwell, Peyton Kelly, Kristen McBride, Melania Meyer. There are seven total. Mm -hmm. Ron Zills, Rob Nichols, and Father Charles Rowe, <laughs> the reverend here as we celebrate 50 years of parade fun. And oh, there's oh, Island I, Dairy. I see a big, big bossy. bossy. Yeah. <laughs> Nearly 50 years in the parade. has been participating for 49 of those 50 years. I don't know. There's, they seem to be claiming 50. Oh, maybe our intel is okay. not quite right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's a year here or there, oh, yeah. right? When you're big bossy. Yep. That's you know. right. <laughs> big bossy. Down the... All right. All right. We'll give them 50 years. Yeah, How's that good. sound? We're all good. <laughs> And I want to say, speaking of families and, and, uh, and, and those who have been involved for a long time, we just saw them a second ago, but they're going to be right back up again. And this is our Cullinan Family Spirit Award winners, the Mike and Janet Lillis yes. family. And this award Kathleen, represents kind Sheila, of and there we go. generational uh, commitments to the Kansas City Irish community. And they are actually part of this uh, bigger, larger group. They are. The McGee, Reardon, Burke, Soden, and Lillis families. Uh, you know, who have been in this parade for many, many years, uh, and they have been uh, multi-time uh, award winners. This last year, they were the third place family winner, and we saw their cutest little leprechaun. Hi, guys. Uh, doing I his thing used to babysit ago. two of those girls in the line. Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, the, my goodness. the two Reardon girls, I babysat <laughs> them. Was she a good babysitter? Was That's I a good babysitter? <laughs> good they're good, they're, they're, they're okay, saying good. thumbs up. Phew, thank goodness. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I mean, everybody knows everybody in this I city. I love it. And I love, I will say, we're going to look and see what their float is because every year this group likes to modify the theme a bit, ah. uh, providing Hi. some silly and entertainment for the crowd. So I, I get, I've heard some, again, intel <laughs> yes, that the they intel. have taken on this theme of 50 cheers to, for 50 years and uh, maybe taking a little spin. So maybe a, a little bit of cheer. Ah, I see cheer detergent. There uh -huh. Danny Reardon. And maybe some uh, Cheerios. Uh -huh. <laughs> Cheer. The Notre Dame fight song <laughs> I hear is a part of their uh, float this year. <laughs> so they've always got to do something a little silly. They're crazy. With the, with the uh, theme, which I love. Crazy Irish. We love them. Crazy in a fun way. Yes. Hi, Hello. Fantastic. <laughs> so I, I got to love this, you guys. Hi, honey. There is, speaking of the history of the parade, oh, wait. a very, very yeah. special leprechaun who was a part of this parade for so long. Oh, there he is. Mr. Brogine Malarkey, who retired but from the parade. But you have to parade. say it a different, you have to say, you, so you have we, to say Brogine Malarkey. There he is, Brogine. And he is <laughs> in his know. retirement years, as <laughs> yes. you can see now. And, and as you can see, much <laughs> nicer stroke on the putter now that he's retired, right? He's playing a lot of golf in Texas. I wonder yeah, if he has any he magic has, dust with him. He has retired to the warm weather, <laughs> but he came back to Kansas City, back to Kansas City to yeah. enjoy the 50th year. But Brogine oh. was a part of this parade for so uh -huh. long and did amazing things. He was a big part of getting the go for the green food drive for harvesters going. And now he's brought back his shillelagh and his hat and his pipe <laughs> yes. to really yes. come out of retirement. There he is. But Rogine is truly a, <laughs> such a missed parade ambassador. And we're so happy he came back for the 50th year. 
but he's loving his retirement. That any, is for sure. Any magic dust, Brogeen? And oh, in well, this case, that later. is malarkey. Yeah. <laughs> in a good way. Right. Good to have him back. That's fantastic. He had to come back. I mean, he was so, part of it for so many years. All right, Ripple Glass time. Speaking of recycling, <laughs> founded in 2009 right here in Kansas City. They have uh, recycled over 500,000 tons of glass between the three of us on this stage. <laughs> maybe, yeah, we better, we'll yeah, leave it at that. Portion we'll of that. leave it at that. <laughs> there might be a few wine bottles in their bins from and my house. And you know house. where they are because they've got the purple yep. recycle bins. And they've actually got a, more than 100 of those purple recycle bins all over. Oh, my goodness. Uh, all over the city. All right, I have to tell you about the Driscoll School of Irish Dance. We're going to see them them in a moment. We had them on uh, the air the other day, and I danced with them, John. I couldn't breathe for two days after. <laughs> <laughs> so I just have to tell you, they're coming up. Yeah, that's great. Driscoll School, there they are. Bridget Driscoll, of course, has been dancing since she was five years old and uh, wanted to open her own school. It was a dream. She never thought she would do it, and now she's doing it, and the girls just have such a ball. And they're going to be dancing for the judges here in a moment. But, yeah, we went around and around, and I don't know how they were breathing because I couldn't. You <laughs> <laughs> I get exhausted just watching I, I was going to say. To I be get fully honest. Whew, good stuff. <laughs> they are champion dancers. They actually had a dancer compete in the world this year. So they had one. Congratulations, Bridget. Yeah. And we actually just saw Bridget's young daughter, Mara, go past the camera a second ago. Oh, here are some there of the she is with her cute white hat on. <laughs> Here we go. Brooklyn's, Brooklyn's sitting there in Hogan's, drinking at the bottom of the hill. She broke my heart to the Phoenix Park and I nearly lost my will. And they're going to be starting to perform here shortly for the judges. And they've got their 90 seconds, just like the other performers. Driscoll School of Irish Aww. Dance. You never know who you'll meet in the group. No wonder you were breathless. <laughs> I know it. Wow. I needed oxygen after. <laughs> I love it the way the young and the older kids yeah. are together. See the Mahoney's girls. Some O'Boyles in there too. Thank you, Cassidy. And the Driscoll School of Irish Dance, you know, they also have adult beginner classes. So I would fit just in saying, the beginner. Oh, really? John and Kathy, For we sure. should we I think that needs Do to be they, our goal. We should the, sign what's up. The class before the beginners. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I would need to be. Hey, here For comes sure. another clan. Oh my. The O'Rourke Sweeney clan. Forty two years. Family. Wow, look at yeah. that. Their 42nd year in the parade. And they're taking our picture. <laughs> and you know, I mentioned a, a one of the honorary uh, or the um, Lifetime Achievement Awards earlier, and the O'Rourke Sweeney clan is also a Lifetime Achievement war Award winners. They have uh, done, s they've won, you can see on their banners there how much they've won over the years. Oh. So we finally said enough, enough, <laughs> enough is, is enough already. The grand prize. You they guys are no longer Colin going to be and judged, and you're just going to. Uh, All right. All right, and we will leave you with this wonderful float, and we'll be back with more on parade coverage. 50 cheers for 50 years with Aaron and John and myself, Kathy Quinn. Come back to us. Tom.
as we welcome you back. A little bit of Irish here. You know? In Midtown on Broadway. It's Let's 50 cheers for 50 years of the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Casey Irish Parade in Kansas City. John, Casey, Casey Lowriders Kathy, Club, I'm sorry. And Aaron. <laughs> and we're getting the last bit of the Lowriders <laughs> Club with their cars that do things my car does, but they... <laughs> They actually <laughs> plan theirs. Mine is sort of, I hit a pothole. <laughs> you know, while we were at break, I was counting the people here at the parade. Oh, my goodness. I'd oh. say 100,000. Easily. 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 Yeah. I, it took me a quick count, but I did it. And we've got oh, the Kansas City Irish girl. Fest, who I have to say I'm a bit partial to because I'm also part of the Kansas City Kieran Irish Pem Fest. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. There's Kieran Pemberton. Bob Having Elder. a blast. Yeah. Native Irish, one of Ireland's native sons. Uh, and the Kids City Hello. Irish Fest is also an amazing sponsor of the parade every year. One of those awesome sponsors we couldn't do it without. Um, and we just celebrated our 21st birthday yeah, last they, year. Yeah. You're uh, now of age. I know. Celebrating <laughs> Celtic Pride in Cowtown. You never know. Look at all these folks. I love this group. The rolling cow <laughs> and the mascot bow, bow went ahead. And Fox 4, hey, proud honey. to be a part of this event every yeah. year, Labor Day weekend. That's right. The Irish Fest coming up in September. So you saw some of my best friends in that group. Kind of a nice way to wrap up the summertime, right? Yes. Casey Irish Fest. Now, I don't think I'd want our next group. I wouldn't want to mess with them. Let's no, just no, be no, really no, no. nice to these folks. <laughs> yes. Uh, John, so watch what you say, honey. This yes. is Rudy Bear's Brazilian Jiu I'm going to say this wrong. You guys, jiu-jitsu. Jiu yes. jiu uh, and they are located right here in the heart of Westport. Actually, they're almost right behind our review stand here. Um, and this is their first year in the parade, but they have been doing this for 15 years. And they have all kinds of classes, again, that we should take. The Brazilian <laughs> jiu-jitsu, wrestling, boxing, kickboxing, <laughs> MMA, and that Hi, super cool uh, <laughs> cage that they do their, yeah. their uh, work in. So we welcome builds, them for the first year. It builds self-esteem, you know, for young men and women. Yep. It builds self-esteem, and it just kind of gives them confidence. Yep. And they also, they're a uh -oh. school. Here we so go. So they get to stop and perform for over 90 Ooh. seconds as well. So they're going to do some of their, uh, show off some of their skills. And maybe we'll see just a real quick brief match. Again, I, I don't think I'd want to mess with them. This is, a, this is added value for our viewers. We didn't think we have an MMA match right here. This kind of looks like the newsroom sometimes. <laughs> yes. Right before showtime. Yeah. Here we go. I'm going to show off their uh, skills for the judges now. A little street fight going on here. Uh -oh. Turning, tuning in just now. This is not breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the Rudy Bear Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu <laughs> just showing us some of their moves right here in front of the judges. And this is part of their 90 seconds that they get in front of the judges to perform. Good stuff. So they're just showing off a lot of what they get that they do at their at the school. They jiu jitsu, they've got wrestling, boxing, kickboxing, and, and MMA. So they've got all sorts of classes for all sorts of different people. I don't think it's coincidence that right behind them is the McGilly Memorial Chapel first. <laughs> because if I were to get in that cage, that would be my ride. You know, I well, will they're say, here for you. They're here. I will say, as as, as we as a parade committee, when we do line up this parade, we do have a little some inside yes, jokes do. sometimes. But I don't remember this being one of them. So very good. Catch there, John. I, just a hunch. <laughs> just a hunch. I don't know if we're going to get a shot of the hearse, but uh, it's uh, yeah, it's go. a gorgeous McGilly Memorial Chapel serving the Kansas City Irish yeah. community. There it is. Since There's my ride. 1899. There's my ride. Not yet, John. Not yet. Not, Not yet. yet. We're not ready for that Too yet. Too early. Too early. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, McGilly, of course, over by Redemptorist, and they've been a part of the community for many, many years. As I mentioned, 1899, Mark McGilly. Great guy. Daniel Redemptorist, built by some of the Irish tradesmen yeah. who settled in this area. What a beautiful, yep. beautiful stone church it is. Yep. All right, here we go. Another great marching group, the Casey Marching Sizzlers, third place team last year. And this is their 25th year of participating in the St. Patrick's Day Parade. 
They build character through the art of dancing and drumming for ages 5 through 25. And they love what they are doing, you can tell. And you can hear them coming down the road. As they get ready to perform for the judges, as John mentioned, there were seven judges. Hard time for these judges to decide who's going to win because these are all great. They're also passionate about what they're doing. Let's watch them. tell you. Well, they certainly made an impression on us. They did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, with uh, the folks around here, the parade, you talk about the parade committee with you all getting this together. Well, we could not have a televised, you know, parade like this without our folks. Wonderful camera people. We've got all sorts. I don't even want to say one name because we have so many people behind the scenes. Uh, I will tell you that... <laughs> Uh, I work with a photographer named Josh Collins every morning, and he's here with us today. And he went to the zoo, and I bring that up because the zoo is coming up, the Kansas City Zoo. He said the aquarium is so cool. Yep. And, of course, the Kansas City Zoo, uh, open year-round, and they're home to nearly 10,000 animals, over 400 species. Josh and I both like the elephants, and he said they were pretty cool yesterday. But he said the aquarium is really neat. I cannot wait. I have not been able to make it yet, but that I've heard it's incredible. The Sobella Ocean Aquarium. And I've just heard it's amazing. Yeah. He was Which just makes there sense, Friday. Because we've got a world class zoo. I yes, love we do. going. I love going with my friend Dietta and her daughter Paisley. And look, Paisley the, Lee, she's they at let, that age. They that let she the loves the zoo. They let the party animals out uh -oh. for the day. <laughs> yeah, the party animals from the zoo. <laughs> so whether you're a kid or a kid at heart, the zoo is a great place to spend your day. Oh, and we are looking right after the zoo. There they go. Yep, there's a party animal. Yep. With the parade wave down, very nice. Very well done. <laughs> All right, Blue Beetle is in the house. They are proud of their history and a promising future. They stand on the foundation of training, growth, and improvement. I, I, I think we may have some more party animals on the loose here. I think so. <laughs> but these are not pests. <laughs> no. These are fun folks from Blue Beetle Pest Control. What's cool about this year is you've got many, many more floats than you've had in the past. We do. Have, we've got a great, uh, we've got a very good amount of floats this year. There's roughly 140. And, uh, and, and, you know, coming and showing up and doing their best to celebrate 50 cheers for 50 <laughs> years. <laughs> and we were talking to the mayor about, uh, you know, the Midtown area and the Irish and how they settled the community. And coming up next was what's very central to the Irish here in the community in the Midtown area. We're talking about, we talk, pe people call it Redemptress Church. It's also Our Lady of Perpetual Help. And here they come. Uh, my goodness, they, they, they just do so many good things. Founded in 1888, built large in part by Irish immigrants yes. from the rock and the quarry where Channel 4 s sits on. <laughs> yep, that you <laughs> yeah. didn't know about. I, yep. ho I hope there's still some rock underneath. <laughs> I do. Hey, yep. Steve. And they are home to Cristo Ray High School and the Redemptress Senior Services Center. Um, and they actually host the yearly Gaelic Mass for the Parade Committee uh -huh. and um, are just great partners to the parade and to this whole city. And you know what's cool about them? They do a senior citizen's prom. Yes, yeah. yes. That, of course, involves the O'Neills, right. Julie O'Neill. Right. <laughs> it all comes around. It's all full circle, really. Sure does. It sure does. 
one of our adorable four-legged friends celebrating uh, St. Patrick's Day with the Relahan and O'Neill clans. And they were our second place family winners in 20, the 2023 parade. And uh, they're trying to do a nostalgic look back wow. at uh, their oh, history yeah. in the parade. All the t-shirts that they've had in the past. This is uh, four generations along with many good friends. Of course, that's what it's all about. Hello. 50 years of cheers and gear. <laughs> I love it. They've got hey guys. Hi. They've oh got merch. They've you got may, merch. You may have seen <laughs> when their float went by. They've got uh, they're displaying our, all, all their, their old t-shirts that they wore that over the years. That was their gear. I love it. I love it. And we've got the Casey Pride Community Alliance, and they are gearing up for their big parade. Oh. Uh, on June 10th, they have the, the huge pride parade that is just really blown up over the last, um, you know, how a handful of years and it's it so great it's fun to see another uh, organization with such a successful parade <laughs> and especially those celebrating pride in kansas city this town loves its parades for it's sure uh, you know we really like championship parades yes we yes do. we do <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a city of champions but this one's a pretty and, good parade and too. speaking of champions we've got some irish dancers coming up they were third place last year in the 2023 parade the heartland irish dancers and it's uh, their cheers, ready to celebrate the 50 years. Oh, I love it. I just love hard shoe. That's hard shoe. I do too, do. yep. They range in age from five to 18 years of age. And this is in Belton, Harrisonville, Missouri. Heartland dancer, Emily McCarthy. <laughs> what a fun float they yeah. put together, really adhering to theme. You know, that is something that is important when they're being judged is how they, uh, show off the theme, and I think the Heartland Irish dancers really pulled out all the stops this year. Here we go. <laughs> Doing a standard cheer kick line there. Yeah, oh, and some, some cheer stunts. Very Ooh. impressive. Oh, that's, yes, that's neat. I just pulled a hammy watching. <laughs> so Emily, who is the founding dancer, I used to watch her dance at, what, six, seven, eight years old. Well, and here's what's so fun is that so many of these Irish dance schools we see, you know, we saw Bridget just earlier. She and Emily McCarty came up together, you know, Irish dancing and together. And, the, and Joseph, mm -hmm. who now has, um, you know, the O'Reardis school. Mm -hmm. And how fun that, that these dancers who grew up together have now opened their own schools to really spread Irish dance yep. further across the metro yep. area. And Christine was their teacher, and, you know, she would be so proud if she were here with us today she to really see would. what they proud done. parents right there, yes, they parents are. and yep. siblings. Okay. And, and this group actually coming up is, is representatives of the Kansas City Irish Center. I saw my uh -huh. buddy uh, Kevin Bundy there. Uh, <laughs> But this is, like we said, the, they were first place organization winners last year and are a huge part of the Irish community. They really are the living room of the Irish. They better they, behave, though. They bring us There's all Mary together. Uh, you know, they bring us all together, you know, throughout the year. Um, they first started, you may remember, Kathy, they started in 07, and they were in a small space mm -hmm. in Union Station. Mm -hmm. But in 2016, they purchased Drexel Hall. And the things that they've been able to do for the Irish community has just been amazing. Oh, they teach amazing. Irish. They, they talk about poetry. It's they've just got everything. Cultural they keep programming, that cultural going. Yes. Entertainment. They do. Um, and they've got, actually, Kaylee dancers from Casey Irish okay. Dance this year. All right. And, All right. And, and I'll tell you and, what. And I'll tell you what. They, they are actually celebrating a championship right behind the float here if we'll get a look at it. Okay, we're going to be back yep. in a little moment. Uh, 50 cheers for 50 years as we leave you dancing Some from the Kansas City Irish Center. Yeah. We'll be back in a moment. Right, There's John the championship Eric. Yeah. Patrick Mahomes <laughs> in the house. All right, see you in a minute.
Dan, welcome back. Broadway Midtown as we celebrate 50 years of the KC Irish Parade. It's John, Kathy, Aaron, and a very special guest yes. all the way yes. from Limerick, Ireland. Yes, we've got the Minister of State, uh, Patrick O'Donovan, and we are so lucky that you came Thank to you Kansas much. City. So this is, tell us a little bit about, I know this is kind of part, you coming to Kansas City, and I think there's 11 other ministers in the States, and it's part of a, you know, a promotion tour for Ireland, right? Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so the Irish government really used the week running into St. Patrick's Day as an opportunity to engage our, our, our diaspora, our communities all around the world, like Kansas City. Earlier in the week, I was in St. Louis, um, and there are Irish ministers all over the United States and all over the world this week, from Chile in South America to the Baltic and from Vancouver to Auckland. There are Irish ministers everywhere basically doing what I'm doing today, engaging with the Irish community, celebrating our heritage and enjoying the crack. But Minister, I just have to ask you, we are the best, right? Absolutely. Uh, no uh, shadow, we we knew it. I know, you we're, know, we heard you were in St. Louis. You just said you were in St. Louis earlier this week. And ooh, I mean, surely Kansas City is better, right? I think it's probably a one-all draw there. I know <laughs> that you have the Soccer World Cup coming up, so you're going to hear a lot about one-all draws. And yeah. I want to ask you, please talk about this tradition, because you just were able to give us these beautiful, beautiful shamrocks. So the shamrock is our national emblem, it's our national flower, and uh, St. Patrick used it over almost 2,000 years ago to demonstrate Christianity. So there's three leaves in a shamrock, and the shamrock stands for God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So basically, it is a symbol of our Christianity, but now it's a symbol of our Irishness, and it's a unifying symbol. It's less about religion and more about where we come from. And I want to take this opportunity to educate and remind people that the shamrock is three leaves, not three. four. Yes, yeah. I, I will tell you, it drives us crazy, <laughs> uh, you know, all of us Irish-American, when we see... That's clover. Exactly. That yeah. A four-leaf clover is not the same no, as a shamrock. No, it is not, not the symbol right. of Ireland. You know, I, I appreciate <laughs> that the minister, he's not only a good minister, he's a good diplomat when it comes to St. Louis and Kansas City. Yeah, right? he is. Very he is. well He's done. Very, very good. well not, done. Not Love a that. I'm not going to get drawn into a Missouri, <laughs> <laughs> a Missouri conflict. <laughs> well, and of no. course, I'm proud because the minister um, is from the same county that my family is from oh, okay. and, and grew up real close to where my family is. And my family was from uh, the Wolf family, plant family from uh, Atay, and that's his district. It's my district. And we just found out about a half an hour ago that Michael that's traveling with me is a neighbor of Aaron's family in Atay in County Limerick. Oh, my God. And you guys, this is not, this. I mean, this is a very tiny little town slash village. I mean, the fact, that, and oddly enough, there's a lot of us in Kansas City from Ate, but the fact that the minister is traveling with somebody who's from there, I mean, it's just, do we the have any crazy? The population is only about a thousand people wow. in, in the village. It's, it, I mean, it's so, it's so small, but it's so adorable do and lovely. Do we have any from uh, County Wicklow or Dublin? Oh, there's, there is. Uh, Nolene is with me from Dublin, from, from the, my department in Dublin, yeah. Very good. I worked in Dublin for years at Radio Nova. There you go. I did. Yeah, I love I Dublin. My husband's from Wicklow. Oh, is he? Yeah. Kid? The last county in Ireland to be created. Was it really? Yeah. The best? Yeah, absolutely. They saved, <laughs> they saved <laughs> the best to last. <laughs> yeah. My way, son, Key and Quinn Byrne, was born. Minister, I'm from Great Bend, Kansas. Does that count here? <laughs> we, can f we can figure you we into we'll some county we'll somewhere. We'll sure. figure it out. We'll figure you in somewhere. I'm from County Barton. So <laughs> Let me ask you this. So when people say to you, well, my family's from here, or my family's from there, does that make you proud that people are so proud of that? It does, and invariably yeah. I know somebody from that place. I know somebody from those counties. I know somebody from those parishes, from those villages, from those towns, and... In, invariably, and I've been to the United States many, many times, we always have a connection. Uh, no, not I mean. as strong maybe as a connection that Aaron and myself <laughs> had just a half an hour ago, but we'll always create a connection. And that's b part of the fact that there are so many of us around the world um, because of the famine, because of mass immigration, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. because of what happened in Ireland, because of the amount of people that wound up in Kansas City and the state of Missouri and everywhere else. Uh, we, we're stuck everywhere, and there isn't a four crossroads anywhere in the world yeah. that you won't find yeah. an Irish person. And you and won't find a better parade than this one with the, the people that just love being here. Yep. Well, well, certainly at this moment in time, this is the <laughs> best. I mean, I, I've been at, gotta be careful. I've been at parades all my life since I was a child. I have. Uh, it's my first time seeing a hearse in a parade, which is <laughs> a yep. real novelty. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and I, you know, I do want to quickly uh, just explain something to the, those who are watching uh, live on, on Fox 4. So, you know, people hear that a minister is coming, and I want to clarify, this isn't a minister in the way that no, the not, not United States, <laughs> not a religious no, no. minister. So explain a little bit to those watching so what I, that means. I, I'm a government minister in Ireland. In, in, in America, you call him secretary or undersecretary, and I have responsibility for the Irish language, the Irish speaking, la the Irish language speaking community in the west of Ireland, and I also have responsibility for our uh, public work. So we build bridges, schools, houses, roads, 
uh, public building, so that's my remit. Well, let me tell you, you're doing a great job because you, in many ways, but I, we were just some, uh, my husband and some friends, we were in Ireland in October, November time. Number one, I was blown away. The roads seemed even like 10 times better than when I was there 14 years mm. prior. We all were like, this is like the really tiny little roads going yeah, yeah. into the towns. <laughs> so very well done. And I think it's so cool that everywhere you see English language, like street signs and, and you know, anything like that, you also see the Gaelic language. Yeah, yeah. And I think that is so special. Well, the Irish language is our first language and it's a language that uh, we work very hard to inculcate. Uh, we, every child is taught uh, Irish in primary school and you know we use it and uh, we're very proud of it. It's the one thing that differentiates us from the rest of the English speaking world that we have our own language. What would you like to leave here in Kansas City? What would you like people to know about Ireland? It's the best small country in the world to visit. So if you're in Kansas City at the moment and you're watching this and you're looking to spend your tourist dollars somewhere, <laughs> there is no better place that you there can you spend go. it than in Ireland and there's no better place and that you can spend it than Limerick. And by the way, <laughs> as, as the minister who oversees infrastructure, no potholes. <laughs> no yeah. potholes in Ireland. They do way better with that than we do here. <laughs> I'm passing uh, that. <laughs> Minister of State Patrick O'Donnell Donovan, thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you for Kansas Kansas City. Love and it. happy St. Patrick's Day. Thank you. you as well, Say sir. it in the Irish. Benachtin a fail or a Goliath. Yes, what he said. Did you hear yes. that? Yes, yes, I got that. Thank <laughs> you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank Great you to much. have you here. Oh. Got all kinds of things, crazy things happening, going <laughs> on. Crazy people. On the route here. This is uh, the Girl Scouts of Troop 659, 13th year. There's the young ladies having fun, and behind them, the Children's Mercy Brigade. So I have to just share a little bit about Children's Mercy Brigade. This is actually a group from the parade committee mm -hmm. that heads over to Children's Mercy Hospital every year. Um, in the days leading up to the parade to bring a little of that fun to the families at Children's Mercy. And you'll see some shamrocks uh, on that truck that have been decorated by the kids yes. at Children's Mercy Hospital. That's what's so cool. Um, so it's really fun that our committee gets to bring some of that fun of the St. Patrick's Day season and of the parade to the kids and families at Children's Mercy Hospital. And the Air National, Carmi, uh, Kansas Army National Guard 169th Combat Sustained Support Battalion deployed most recently with the Customs Border Patrol. That was in 2021. So both yes. at home and abroad protecting the United States. They assist in the response to emergency disasters throughout the state as well. We salute them. And we here, are gonna salute the here dynamites. Come the dynamites. Yeah. Second place dance team in 2023, founded in 2017. They promote high self-esteem, determination, persistence, high academic achievement, community involvement, and the importance of health in young women. And their mission is to teach dance and inspire students. And we are gonna see the inspiration in the dancing coming up right now. I love their costumes. They have some bling, don't they? They, <laughs> they do. That is awesome. The Kansas City Dynamite, second place team last year. So Minister, it's kind of incredible to see all our dance teams. We have different, you know, so many different uh, likes, you know, the Irish dancing and the, this type of thing, isn't it? Yeah, but it's a sign of the cultural diversity of a city that's as big as this. We have the same in Ireland, you know, our country has changed, it's a great thing and it's fantastic to see so many different cultures celebrating today and, and that's the one good thing that unites Irish people. And you know what, you're, you're, you are supposed to be required to get out there and dance with them right now, is that okay? <laughs> I have a bad hip. <laughs> <laughs> Well, again, very diplomatic. <laughs> he sure is, isn't he? Oh, uh, that's yeah. I'm, I'm with you, Minister. I've got a bad back and bad the knees aren't great either. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so what they're doing right now is they'll go in front of the judges, and the judges oh look at that. And the judges have to decide where they're placed and all. They were second place actually last year. Yes. Kansas City Dynamite. Yes. And this is where, to me, it would be tough to be a judge. And, and they have to make a decision in 90 seconds, and then they don't get to go back and no, change their view. It's, their talk, ballot is we gone. We talked about that. They yes. have to, boom, make that decision. And it is always fun to see each group and how they incorporate uh, yeah. you know, the Irish spirit, whether it's just uh, adding a little green to their uniforms every year. 
Again, John, I think you can do those backflips. <laughs> no, he can't. <laughs> I, love, I love how you think I can, and Kathy's like, no, he can't. <laughs> no, he can't. I believe that I, I, I want to keep him safe. Yeah, I, th I just have, like, confidence in you, John. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> I love this age group. You've got from young to the teenagers. Yep. It's just really lovely to see. The Kansas City Dynamites, everyone. What a great group of young ladies. So having fun. Yes. On the parade route here as we celebrate 50 cheers of 50 years oh. of the modern day St. Patrick's Day parade in Kansas City. I want to say something about this next group. The Veterans, Veterans Community, Community Project. Project. Very old. Oh, very close place in my heart. They are fabulous. Brian Meyer, one of the founding members. Brian's mother is Magella, who is related to the Cullinan family. Brian, they do great, great work. There's Brandon Mix as well, and then Vinny helps as well. We love him. Oh, 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 there we go. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. If you go near and t-shirts at us. <laughs> if you go to 89th and Truce Minister, they have beautiful tiny homes like what you're looking at. You'll see right there. Mm. And it's at 89th and Truce to help our veterans. And there's Brian Meyer right now, Magella's little boy. He's not so little anymore. Yeah. And they had this idea with $500 several years ago, and they are now, it's unbelievable. How many veterans do you help? How many? Hundreds. 50 homes. Now it's, grown into a nationwide. it's nationwide thing. People yes, are coming to them and wanting the example of how they're doing it. So we love him. It really helps Thank our you, veterans who struggle with um, homelessness mm -hmm. and and other, you know, challenges that they just have once yeah. they, you know, come out of the service. And so they provide these houses and these, th what we call tiny homes, uh, you know, in this this tiny home village for veterans and really help them get on their feet and reestablish themselves. And into, transition into yeah. then their own apartments and then their own homes. But this is where they're able to start and it helps so many of it's them. It's really a fabulous thing, isn't it? It yeah. is. It, it is. really is. And we just heard it's gone national now. Yeah. You see these tiny homes, the villages popping up all over the country. And it was just four or five veterans that came together and That's said, we want to help our guys yep. and our gals. Yep. All right, this next crew, Ed's Posse, I believe, right? Is this Ed's Posse? I think I hear them before <laughs> I see <laughs> them. <laughs> and all those Posse. motorcycles. They've got a strong history of supporting organizations like the March of Dimes, ALS, and others. They've raised hundreds of thousands of dollars for local nonprofits. Good work. There's Ed Thumbs himself. Up. Ed's Posse. Here they are. <laughs> they're, they're, they'll make a little noise for us here. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and that is loud. <laughs> There's, I see your, <laughs> Be careful what you ask for. <laughs> <laughs> so what classification would they be going under? They would be under organization. Okay. So yeah, the parade is broken out into categories basically. So you've got organizations, families. Oh, speaking of families actually, we've got the Darby clan and they have been participating since year one. Marion Darby was one of the original few who walked that first year yep. in the block long parade. And now they have kept this as a tradition <laughs> in her honor hey. every year. And they are, of course, celebrating 50 cheers to 50 years. That's Look at all the years. Well done on the theme there, for sure. <laughs> yeah. How about those Chiefs? <laughs> Minister of State, your new favorite NFL team, the Kansas City Chiefs, no doubt. Oh, absolutely. Um, people in Ireland glued to it on yeah. the night. That's great. Huge congratulations. Back to back, of course, yes. come to the time from where we're, we've won four in a row in our national sport uh -huh. and we're going for five in a row so when the kansas city chiefs catch up to four in a row we're like limerick have we're working on it yeah we're working on it it'd be fun there's our friends from q104 q104 i think i see jenny matthews up there <laughs> and we've got coming up behind them ability kc yes they serve thousands in missouri and kansas personally i know they helped a family member of mine uh, get to the services that they needed. They were disabled, you know, and they, they had these services. They're fabulous. They talk to you. They help you. Uh, today, they've got adaptive driving vans that allow individuals to drive from their wheelchair, and it's just fabulous. So they I, are I here I love the, 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 the key word there, ability. Ability. Yes, right? that's exactly Not what it is. Not this, but ability. Ability. And ability KC. And they make that possible. What a great group. Yeah. And you know, we've got lots of 
family here, Minister. I'm telling you. I can see the thousands, names, yeah. Thousands of them. Loads of O'Connors and <laughs> Darbys. Yes. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I told you. I'm waiting for the O'Donovans, though. I haven't seen them yet. <laughs> have well, you, hi have I you hidden them until last? We'll have to tell it? you about the O'Donovans. They're not doing so well right now. What? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> like, this, that's a terrible thing to say. It's universal, I don't do worry. do know there are some O'Donovans in Kansas City, though, for sure. For sure, and we've got the Barr family heading this way, and this is their 49th year, 49 of the 50, and they are remembering uh, their family matriarch, Nancy Barr, who they lost in 2019 and was the one who really got them started in the parade. And I love the cheers to 50 shamrocking years with yes. the Barr family. How about that? What happens normally during the week, this is on a Sunday, but normally during the week, parents say, nope, it's a holy day. You could yeah. you get off your get off school. Everybody leaves work, and that. But this is cool that it's on a Sunday. Yeah, yep. it's lovely. You yeah, know, and it brings out a, it brings out a bigger crowd in as well. It does. Cool. There are yes. a million people here, Minister. Mm -hmm. you know yeah, that. but Brilliant. I can I can safely say that I never had to go to school on St. Patrick's Day <laughs> growing up. Whether we had school or not, I have no idea. But my parents certainly never made they me. They never oh, you, couldn't, you couldn't send somebody to school in St. Patrick's Day. No, exactly. And my my grade school, we were the we were the Shamrocks. Was our uh -huh. You know, we were in Irish right. grade school. So, so you, you, you were to. excused. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. There's the Geyer <laughs> Fence crew. Yep. By the way, I went to St. Patrick's. Oh, okay. I was a yep. crusader. There you go. Love it. We oh. were the St. Elizabeth Shamrocks. I think they, they're now maybe the St. Elizabeth Fighting Irish. They've They've uh, evolved from shamrocks to... Of course, we all fight. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lovely. Yeah. A lo Within families, we all fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. And, okay, so you guys, I have to share about this marching band. I love them. The Emerald City Marching Band, and this is their 40th year, but here's what's great about them. They exist only to perform in this parade. It is hysterical. They, their their uh, slogan is one note at a time. We could all join it, and Minister. I mean, they would allow us in it. Literally, Nobody gets turned nobody's away. turned away. You know the way I said I had a bad hip? I've, uh, I've, uh, I've also a bad head. <laughs> 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 I'll watch, though. I'll watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm there with you. But I love it. They literally, their only purpose for existence is to be in the Kansas City St. Patrick's Day Parade. hilarious. And it sounds like one note at, at a, a time. time. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody's ever been turned away. So, I mean, Minister, if you wanted to come and be a special guest every year. Really? Yeah. yeah. I bet they could give you, like, the triangle or chime. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Or the, do that. Or the, or the, the tambourine. Yeah, yeah, the yeah tambourine. tambourine. I was a brilliant tambourine player, have you know. <laughs> I love the way you say maracas. Say it again. Maracas. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you think she I can do it a third time. Go you ahead. would think that. Maracas. You would think since her <laughs> husband is from Ireland, she'd be used to the, the you know, she'd, she'd be used to that, uh, we that accent. We call it slagging. <laughs> yeah. here's, the, here's the Carpenters Union Local 1127, the trades building our town. I know, guy. And you know, the... the you're going gonna to tell me you can use a saw now as well in a drill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we won't put you up to that. But I will share a little bit that I, one thing I think is pretty great about the Carpenters Union, Local 1127, is they really, one of their main priorities is to help ensure fair wages and benefits for their members mm -hmm. and dignity and security in retirement. How about those Mavericks, How huh? about those Mavericks? They yes. Are, they are coming off a split with Rapid City. They won Friday night, lost last night, and they'll be heading to Texas for a Wednesday hockey match. Of course, Cable Dahmer Arena out in Independence. Minor league hockey in our town, Minister. With the Kansas City connection as well. Yes. But you have it the all, Kansas don't City you? Chiefs connection. You have it all. You have the biggest St. Patrick's Day parade in Everything. the world. Everything. Oh. The Super Bowl. Oh. The World Cup is coming. Find it. Like, I mean, it's a good time, time to be a Kansas Cityan. Yeah. The Emerald City. <laughs> right. from, from County Jackson. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And we've got the Ryan Companies. They're a national leader in commercial real estate services, and they really love to put their hearts into creating spaces that bring stories to like at life. And you know, perfect name for a company, yeah. an Irish company. Blowing some bubbles along the parade route. You know, you'd wonder, there are so many people in the parade, how can we have so many spectators? But it's just everybody comes out for this parade. It is Nobody's the, safe. It is the truth. It's certainly a change from 50 years ago when you had about 15 people marching and 
I don't know that anybody was watching them. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we went from 100,000 to a million very quickly. Yes, I, <laughs> I don't know how I'm that, very good that, at math, is that, is that Irish I'm, math? Yes, okay. it is. We do, yes, we do love t uh, telling tales. We're, we're natural Shanakis. Should be welcome for the treasury. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> And we've got the Real Riders Car, car Club. Club. We like our cars here in Kansas City as well, Minister. So, so I see you. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't, have you seen these kind of uh, trick cars yeah. in Ireland much? See, we're, we live in an island and we get to go on boats a lot and I get seasick. <laughs> and even looking at these guys <laughs> makes me seasick. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. I, I don't think I'd do well. These cars do unnatural things, that is for <laughs> sure. But they are beautiful. They really are. The Real Vin Riders Car Club, Kansas Black City. Vintage Cadillacs. Yeah. Love it. But everybody's Irish today, Minister. That's the thing. I do Irish all the time, aren't they? <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. We like to say so, at least. We like claiming our Irish heritage around here. <laughs> Millions and billions are Irish today. That's yes, right. exactly. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, my, I think we've got the Bailey family. I hear them before I see them. Nicholas rides in a decorated pickup truck. Plain. Wanting to make sure everybody knows that he says happy St. Patrick's Day. So apparently St. Nicholas is Irish as well. He is, yeah. All, all the saints are Irish. Did you, know uh, yeah. you didn't, you didn't read that they memo, are. no? Of course they are. <laughs> Playing Galway Girl, one of my favorite songs. I love it, the Irish uh. Santa there. <laughs> And I ask you first. St. Nicholas Hello. having a good time. Gomer's I wonder fine if it's because he's with Gomer's Fine Wine and <laughs> Spirit well, Smithtown right behind is, him. Is that another one of those coincidental <laughs> so. parade lineups? I mean, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the fact that the minister had never seen a hearse in a parade. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time for everything. See, if you could take the that last, home with you. The last man to let you down. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Oh, you gotta I be ready. It. You gotta be ready. <laughs> I love it. For and sure. We've got coming up the Missouri Gay Rodeo Association, Casey Pioneers. They've been longtime parade, par par uh, parade participants. I almost said parishioners. I'm losing my mind today, <laughs> you all. Uh, but they host the Show Me State Rodeo in Hale Arena. It's in May. And it's a really cool event, actually. They do traditional rodeo mm -hmm. events as well as some other just unique, uh, different events uh, through the rodeo, but it's an all-inclusive event. Uh, they even have, they, they really want to make sure everyone's included um, to compete, including individuals with disability. They're a great organization, and we love having them every year. And they are a nonprofit that yep. fundraises and Hello. gives their uh, their proceeds to local charities. Yeah, that's what's so cool about it, these organizations. That Show Me State Rod Rodeo coming up May 11th and 12th. Oh, so. look, man, my, my, oh, you're going to love this, Minister. Oh, it's a good football show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he knew without even hearing it, he knew. And, it the, hur and the hurlers. And exactly <laughs> who it was. And, and, and by the way, I just, ju just remember, okay. Limerick are the All-Ireland Hurling Champions. Again, I just mentioned that already. Awesome. Just oh, mentioned good. It again. Yes. Good, good, good. Well, we and the Irish love their Gaelic sports. Uh, it's amazing when you go over there that each town you drive through, I mean, they are proud of their mm. Gaelic okay. Athletic Club. And... Okay, and there they really are. Do, Hi guys. So. We're going to have to get out there and play with them, but I'll tell you what, we're not going to be able to play right now. Minister, stay with us. We'll be back in a moment. 50 cheers for 50 years as we come back with more of the St. Patrick's Day Parade. 50 years. Come back to us. <laughs>
Live look at the Jeepers as they make their way down Broadway as we celebrate 50 cheers of 50 years yeah. of the Casey Irish Parade with John, Kathy, and Aaron. What a fun day it's been so far. It has been. More parade to come here. We welcome all of you joining us on Fox 4 and streaming live on Fox 4. KC.com. Yeah, I've got family watching it in Ireland, so this is really kind of cool. It's so cool. I know I've got family or friends all over that are watching, I think from Florida and from Chicago and California. Yeah, uh, and Ottawa, Kansas. I mean, <laughs> well, all the way. That's a long way. Away. I mean, <laughs> but they About. don't they don't realize how big this parade really, really is until they see it. And they go, wow, you people in Kansas City do everything big. You know how to throw a party. That's <laughs> yep. exactly right. And we've got moving pros with us. The moving pros. On the move. You see what you did there, John. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna let you just read the side of that truck. I'm not, gonna, <laughs> I'm not just. Well, good to see you guys. The moving pros. <laughs> yes. All right. And we've got some royalty coming our way. We do. Look at this. Uh, this is Juneteenth KC, and they are representing Miss Juneteenth. Mm -hmm. We've got Miss Juneteenth 2022, Amira Murphy. Junior Miss Juneteenth, 23, Mariah Turner. And I believe with them, they've got the 2022-23 pageant court. This, of course, is a 501c3 organization that hosts educational and healthy social event programming that positively promotes African-American pride and cultural preservation every day of the year, 365 days a year. And they've got their uh, their Miss Juneteenth pageant is fairly new. And so the second annual will return this May at the Gem Theater. And you've got quite mm. the court <laughs> and the queens coming May, down the route here. May 18th at the Gem in the 18th and Vine District. Gem Theater is fabulous. So much history down there at 18th and Vine. Juneteenth KC, the Miss Juneteenth KC 2022, Amira Murphy, the Junior Miss Juneteenth of 2023, Mariah Turner, and the court. You know, while they're heading, while they're going past us here, I just want to take an opportunity to, and I mentioned this earlier, but how grateful we are for all of our incredible sponsors. Oh my goodness. You know, Westport, um, the Westport Entertainment District, they are our presenting sponsor every year. We could not do this without them. The Kansas City Irish Fest, the uh, Republic Service, which is a new sponsor this year. Of course, Fox 4. Right. We're so <laughs> grateful for you. And also 99.7 The Point, Ponch and Nikki in the morning. They've been great partners, radio partners of ours. Um, and we're just so appreciative. Um, Bear and BMW, helping keep this broadcast on air. And also some fun uh, uh, some fun sponsors are uh, Executive Transportation and Pesh Limo. They bring our uh, yes. judges down the route in style. And can American we, can Sweeping. Can we catch a ride? Can we catch a ride? We, I think <laughs> you yeah, could. Okay, no, right. I want to catch a ride with a horse. That's and there we do. go. The that? Teamsters. They were second place trade winners in 2023. And I love this. Oh. They bring those beautiful Clydesdales, Clydesdales, which really represents the beginning, their beginnings um, as horse dry or horse team drivers, which is how they started in 1903. Hello. And this is their third year in the parade with those gorgeous Clydesdales. They are just beautiful. fabulous creatures. Look at that. And of course, thank once again to all of our folks who help us behind the scenes here at Fox 4. You mentioned Fox 4 because we've got wonderful people that are here, you know, photographers who have come in on their days off to, to work it. We've got people in, in engineering and it just takes a lot of people. It looks it looks so seamless and easy because we have a fabulous crew at Fox 4. It is the truth. It's been such a, a joy every year getting to work with you all. You are a top-notch professionals and so much fun to work with and just do such an excellent job on this on this parade and, and we uh, okay so Erin so can come back next year now <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm official. doing are you kidding I know how to get back on this broadcast <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's a wide load moving down Broadway you don't see many big rigs coming through Midtown but there you have it, the Teamsters third year in the parade and they are celebrating big time with us as we celebrate 50 years and they're probably wondering, where does this parade start from? Well, right. Redemptress right there near yep. where Browns is, where the Irish came and settled, you know, in Kansas City. So it's just perfect. It's and it a, ends in know. the Irish 
area of Westport. Yes. Right? Yeah, right. For the little post party <laughs> that we're going to have. <laughs> And oh, I think yeah. I see the Wesley family and friends. And this is just, I love this. This is a group of family friends, family and friends, who just really love coming to the parade every year. So oh, yeah. they decided to join us in the parade this year. That's and why awesome. not? And That's I love it. I love seeing uh, different groups that just make this par parade <laughs> a tradition every year. And this is the Wesley family and friends. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> And some of the many folks who've gathered here on a beautiful Sunday in Midtown to celebrate all things Irish, the Casey Irish Parade. <laughs> hey, I think they know that. They're having so. a good time <laughs> celebrating. And one of our amazing law enforcement officers working to keep us safe. So appreciative of them. Oh, yes. All and right, I we've got the Forever Envy drill team. You were waiting to say that been, all day I've long. I've been practicing that all day. <laughs> they have been practicing. I can attest to that. They yes. wanted to make sure they, they knew how to pronounce this <laughs> awesome new-ish drill team founded in 2021. And they provide outreach to youth in the community by offering an alternative to the yeah. streets. Lamont Sanders is the director. Forever Envy. See, I said it. I think, our, I think our sign holders maybe got a little ahead of the rest of the group here. They're moving fast. There's, there's the rest of the crew. They are, they are, they are following Morgan's. Uh, yeah, let's keep moving here. Keep moving, yes. <laughs> our amazing uh, producer Morgan here on the, on the ground, with keeping her, everyone moving. With her, you're on TV sign. Yes, and hurry up. <laughs> Well, I mean, Doing they're walking, job. what, a mile, 1.1 mile? 1.1 mile. So, so that first parade was a block and a half. <laughs> <laughs> this one is and, a And few I think more it blocks. was supposed to be a block and a half, and they stopped after a block to just head on yeah. into Hogarty's pub. <laughs> right. How Why about finish that? when you can just go on into the, into the bar? Dan, Dan Hogarty they made their point. led them right to his pub. <laughs> he, wasn't, he was not smart a dumb guy. man. He was smart smart. businessman. <laughs> yes, he was one of the original founders. As you get a good look now at the Forever NB drill team. Founded in 2021, they'll be going in front of the judges right now. You've got young men and young ladies and marchers, dancers, and drummers that make up this group. Cheers to 50 years. Say it loud, say it proud. And they're going to be in front of the judges right now. Let's watch. Well, you can see some of the littlest ones yeah. and some of the older ones. They're keeping up. Yeah, they are. To 50 years, well done, I love yeah. it. Well He's saying, done. come on, crowd, say it loud. Cheers to 50 years. Very yes. proud. Kathy, let me hear it one more time. But Eva, Envy Drill Team. She's got Could it do down. It? How about that? <laughs> what a great young group. And again, you mentioned just, just a few years in the making here. 2021, they yeah. were founded. And they're jumping right into this parade thing, just like so many of the other dance Those, groups. And the little through. ones keeping up with the older ones. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, so cute. Mm. There they go, All going right. down past the judges. The they judges get, are having a rough time today, I'm you telling know, you that. They gave them a little more than 90 seconds, I think. So <laughs> the judges have had plenty of time, and no doubt, forever envy, having fun here with the judges and all of us as we take a look now at Clover. Yeah. We take a quick break here yeah, along the parade route you're watching. Casey Irish Parade, St. Patrick's Day, right here on Fox 4. Yeah.
Welcome back to the St. Patrick's Parade in Kansas City, Broadway, Midtown. It is 50 cheers to 50 years. And another dance crew. Rain KC. And they are in sync, folks. I mean, they are good. Yeah. I mean, they all have been good. I don't want to say that anybody hasn't, but... Watch it, Aaron. Uh, you know, they're newer to the parade, and uh, they have brought it all. They are leaving nothing... Uh, Nothing left to, ch to chance. They are giving their best to the judges today. I mean, you have to remember, they have been walking and marching in the parade, and so, you know, it's a long way. Yeah, that's what's so mind-blowing to me, that, they're, that they still have this much energy after yeah. coming all the way down the parade route like they have. That's called youth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Yes. All right. There they go. Rain Casey. Rain Casey. Another great dance troupe coming great through. Great job. I love the imagination and the creativity of everybody who's involved in the parade. And when you have those themes, the themes really, really help. Yeah. You know, 50 years and 50 cheers for 50 years. It really does. It, it makes your brain going. You want to be creative. Now, we know this group, Kathy, because occasionally we, we are called oh, yeah. on to report on some of their work. It's the Lee Summit Underwater Rescue coming to the rescue of so many folks in this area. It's yep. good to see them on dry land today, <laughs> celebrating St. Patrick's Day with us. I don't, hopefully you won't need to rescue anyone on the parade route. <laughs> well. <laughs> it's nice and dry. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> this is a water rescue flat bottom boat pulled by the rescue recovery pickup. And you know, yes, they get the call anytime they have to be ready and they are ready that guy right there is fighting allergies clearly because he's got <laughs> he's got his own oxygen I think so too. <laughs> all right and we've got behind them the sprinkler fitters local union 314 i love how many unions we have in this parade they all join and they all love being a part of it so it's it's just a great time to see them all coming out yep the trades have been well represented today here on the parade route. That is true. I do feel like there's been maybe a few more trades this year than what we've seen in the past, actually. I just love everybody's excitement and enthusiasm. Yep. Uh, you know, they're just so excited to be here, and I love that. We love them joining us, for sure. Local... 314. They have their parade waves down. Look yep. at that. Good stuff. Brought yes. a bunch of friends and family, it looks like. Having a great time. Love it. Uh, I don't know how they did that, but that is some fun green water heading in there. Leave that to the <laughs> pipe fitters, the trade fitters, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. The sprinkler fitters. And by the way, uh, this crew. Hello. Just, we may not have seen it, but Main Street Tavern, welcome. This is your first time in the parade, right? Oh, Congratulations. Good. All right. <laughs> we never pass by a bar. No. We're all about lear <laughs> learning all about the new Main, Main Street, Street Tavern. Tavern. Brand uh -huh. new and new to the parade as well. And speaking of new to the parade, yes. Latario Toys, look at these. These are luxury power wheel cars. They're operated by remote controls. How fun is that? that is so you so see cute. these little cars, they are being operated by people behind them with the remote controls. Like, how fun is that? That'd be handy, John. We've got little leprechauns. That would be handy for John tonight. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Make my great escape. <laughs> that looks like fun. I don't believe I've seen them before. Did you mention that this is their first time? That, this has to be I a believe first, so. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And we've got the Rosenboom family coming up right behind them in a 1928 Ford Model A Leatherback. Factory made with the green paint. Have to have that green paint. And that is not remote control. That is actually that is a <laughs> real car. Right. This year we've had many, many more floats than before. I think every year it just grows and grows. People just want to get involved. You know, like that one family, the Bailey family, I think they said they just, they came every year and they said, heck, let's get in it. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Why and, not? You know, many who, uh, who have been in before and and came back this year maybe hadn't been i know uh i think they came by when the minister was with us but uh the mccluskey family yes. they had been in for years many years ago and they came back Aww. this year uh to celebrate the 50th anniversary so that's oh. that's so fun we got Here's some more well. cheering coming the up lethal John. mafia dance company they were brand new founded yeah. just last year 
uh, 5 to 18 years old, and they have a passion for dance, and they're going to show us and the judges just how much passion for dance they have here on Broadway. Near Westport, toward the end of the parade yes. route is where our stage is. So they've been walking that mile they have. and a tenth or so. Hello. So we'll see if their energy is holding up here on this St. Patrick's Day. I'm, I'm betting it is. Fierce competition this year with yes. the dance groups. So just know that the judges are going to do their best. So here we go. The Lethal Mafia Dance Company. I like that name. I do too. Are they new? They must be new. I don't recall them in the past. No, I, no, 2023. Okay. Yeah. But in the parade? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Because they were just founded yeah, last just founded. year. So they're brand new. They're brand new. I love it again. Have some little ones all the way up to the older girls. They get in formation, ready to perform for the judges. <laughs> I love it clearly one of their their uh, instructors there getting them all in line. Here they go. Maybe <laughs> they're creating suspense for us. <laughs> Lethal Mafia Dance Company, you mentioned brand new, first parade, they were just got it, yeah! so great. putting on a show for the judges and for our worldwide audience, our global yeah. audience. Dancing, the <laughs> <laughs> I know every year John's moves are on full display more. on stage, and, and we don't catch them on camera. It's, be more bouncing than it's a this. disservice to our viewers, John, that they don't get to see. Oh no, quite the opposite. <laughs> it's another reason I don't dance or sing. We respect and love our audience. We do a lot of dancing up here. Well, we sure do. We get into it just as they are. Yeah. They say they have a passion for dance. I'll say, look at that. I mean, for being such a new dance group, they are doing very, very well. There. Wow. <laughs> that is for sure. I mean, as fun as they're having, I will say, I do think the three of us have quite a fun time oh, here. We, we do. Have, we we do. have a pretty good time. <laughs> we have it easy, don't we? We just kind of you know, sit and watch. Uh, and it is. It is so true. And I do laugh every year, John, because you really do keep Kathy and I <laughs> <laughs> on track. We had a producer last week say, girls, keep it short. When we had one of our interviews, keep uh -huh. it short. They, we thought they know us all too well. There's just so much to talk about. <laughs> you know, I, I'm just the sort of the, the traffic guy here. <laughs> kind of like Morgan down there. I kind of keep things moving, and I let here. you two just institutional knowledge. Yep, well, yep, as exactly. We take a look yeah. now at, uh, let's see. Show Me Care. Show Me yeah. Care. And they are a community-based organization that provides uh, essential services to under-resourced communities in the metropolitan area, which I think is so cool and something so needed in, in Kansas City and, and the surrounding areas. And they really do... They just create a network yeah. of support and generosity to meet the needs of yeah. of some communities that just need a little a little more. Anybody hungry? Anybody Ooh, hungry, I'm hungry for pizza? Dispatch pizza. Did you bring yeah, us any pizza? pizza. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's my pizza? <laughs> where's our pizza? <laughs> where's my pizza? We're the, hungry. They got a wood-fired 
pizza well, you, oven. You know what? Why don't we ask him during the break? We're going to go to All break right. right now. <laughs> we'll go. John, go down there. Go down there and get the pizza. Stay with us right here. You are watching St. Patrick's Day Parade 2024. We'll Yum. be back in a moment because John's got to go get us some pizza. We're on fire. <laughs> We are back right now with the Kansas City St. Patrick's Day Parade. John, Aaron, it's flown. It has been flown. I'm telling you, so many wonderful floats and everything. It just keeps going so fast, doesn't it? It always it? does. Here's Goodwill Industries of Missouri celebrating 130 years in our town and around the country, empowering people, MoCamGoodwill.org. Yes. And I'll tell you, uh, it's flown by. Uh, it always does. And it's always great to see these community nonprofits that yeah. do so much good they really do. in they, our town. And they are a big part of this day as well. So when you go and you shop at Goodwill, know that what you're doing is helping the community as a whole, really is. And there's so many things that I didn't even know about Goodwill. Like, they offer free job training and career services to yes, people. They yes, they do. I mean, they just do such incredible work. They have a computer area where you can go in and, and work on your resume. You can get trained. It's just incredible what they do. Uh-oh, do I hear some drums coming I up? I think I hear the KC Fusion. And again, they were just founded in 2019, and they have grown from 14 girls to more than 70 girls. Whoa. And in 2020, they were awarded a plaque for outstanding achievement and untiring work in the community by the Brotherhood, Inc. Kansas Connection. So we've got KC Fusion coming up with their dancing. I mean, the dance groups that we've had this year have been phenomenal. How do you choose them, Erin? So they, I mean, really, they, we have an application process for everyone that joins. And, um, you know, we try to involve, include as many people as we can. And uh, don't usually have to turn anyone down, <laughs> thankfully. Um, but, you know, we're, we're lucky. We get great, great uh, organizations, families, groups like KC Fusion that come and, uh, and join our, our parade every year. Uh-huh. And they dance away and they have so much fun, John. Passion, music, family, fun. What else would you say about the parade, John? What, what, what I like, I, emphasis on fun. I think fun. Right? <laughs> fun for everyone, including Celebration us. Celebration and fun. It is, a, it is a big day in this, and it's, this town just embraces its Irish heritage. Yes, and every they do. year this parade is another example of that. And I just want to thank Fox 4 for allowing uh, myself, John, Aaron, to be on air and share this with worldwide viewers, you know, all over. All over the world they're watching John right now. 
and what we're watching right now. Actually, I have two little ones with me right now. This is Eloise, this is Delilah, all dressed up for Irish. These are my granddaughters. Eloise, can you wave? Can, can you wave hi? to the camera? Can you wave to the camera right there? There you go, good job. Couple you like the parade? A couple of leprechauns. Here. A little leprechaun. Yeah. Again, Casey okay. Fusion, dancing for the judges. TV sign. <laughs> yes. I need, I need her in the studio every night. Hey, John, you're on TV. You're on TV, smile. <laughs> well, this has been a fabulous day. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone. It's 50 cheers, 50 cheers for 50 years, and it's been only fabulous. I'm Kathy Quinn. John Holt. And Aaron Gabert. All right. Thank Can you so much. Say happy St. Patrick's Day. As always, oh, love working with okay. you three, Thank you. four, five. Thank you, John. Love you. The five of us yeah, here love you, too. A little sad. Thanks oh, for joining okay. us wherever you are. Enjoy a safe St. Patrick's Day. God bless you. I'd say it in Gaelic, but I don't know how. <laughs> Have a great day, everyone. See you later. Have a great one. Woo